Okay. Here we have a game where a sacrifice turned into an explosive attack. So here we go. Open with the usual stuff. My opponent seems to be pushing pawns very slowly, passively, believing that I will make a mistake. And this is my first initiative. I want to. Um, I'm immediately attacking the uh, e5 pawn with an f4 advance. Takes, takes. Advance to the knight. Push the pawn. Knight goes back. Knight comes in, knight gets centralized, attacks the bishop, pull back, and this was the key move of the game. Basically, time to sacrifice, because it looks like, just from a gut feeling, while, I've, while I haven't calculated it out in 30 seconds, I can see that black's king will be open. So we go for it. We do the knife for the two pawns. My opponent takes. I bring the queen back so I can try to get in a check on h5. My opponent prevents that, but I exchange off so that I uh, do have the, the check. And also, my opponent lost the bishop in that, in that exchange. But my opponent, I think, is still eyeing queenside castling and we put an end to that so then we harass the queen a little bit and here we lock up the center sort of uh, disabling that bishop on b7 my opponent wants to uh, you know basically have an x-ray into the king we steal the pawn back comes up. Now I have this knight hanging in the center, so we move the rook over to block any shenanigans with the, with the knight. And here I realize that moving my queen up will do two things. It will give me a check on the diagonal leading to g5, and it'll move my rook over so that um, there's no real good squares for Black's Queen. It will sort of um, disrupt Black's Queen. So we do that. And Black comes up with this counter saying to himself, well, I'll just attack his Queen back. But uh, never forget check. So now we have a series of checks and we have a discovered check with the rook and it's going to get ugly in a hurry. So after a couple of snatch pieces, my opponent resigns or abandons the game and uh, I give him a smiley emoji. And that's all she wrote.